Thank you for checking out this unboxing. It's kind of a special, like, one-time unboxing. Never done one of these before, never ordered one of these before. Um, it's a bad time for me to do it to, like, plug the company Comic Bento because they're actually stopping their box. Uh, I don't know if they're 100% going out of existence or just this product, because I think they have other products through their company, um, but this in particular they're stopping doing. Done. So, the reason I actually ended up getting this, this isn't part of their normal service. They used to do just like a monthly service where they would send you trades, which is, for people who don't know out there, a bunch of comic issues, individual issues all in one. It's usually like five or six, somewhere in there. Um, so they'd send you like four or five of them for like 20 bucks a month. It was actually a really good deal because those trades can get pretty uh, pricey. So since they're going out of, out of, uh, out of business... Uh, they ha they're they having a closeout sale, and I think it's still going on right now, so if people are interested in the closeout sale, you should definitely go ahead and take advantage of that, because it's a really, really, really good deal, and that's the reason I bought this. Um, it was, for this, this is four trades for, um, they said for 10 bucks, and then with shipping and everything else on top, it was actually just 17 bucks. So four trades for 17 bucks, and I know what these are in particular, because um, you can buy past boxes from them, like already assembled, so you know what's in there. Or you can just buy like a mystery box of four or five for ten bucks, or a double like eight. I think it's eight to ten is what they said. I think it's just doubled like eight to ten for twenty bucks, and then there'd be some added on to that. So um, definitely good deals. And then that way you can do like the mystery style. So sorry, this isn't like a mystery style, but for you it might be. Uh, although I am going to tell you, it's the oct. October 2017 box and the reason I went for that one is when I mean I watch unboxings for this had been and um, God, it's still taped there sorry um, and when I was watching those unboxings I was like oh man there's some comics in there that I've actually been wanting to read so that would be a really cool box and when I saw that they were doing the closeout I was like well now I really don't have an excuse to not get these so I mean, I, I can see what they are, so... Wait, what? Wait, what the f... What the hell is this garbage? Okay. Never mind. Not excited about this. They screwed me. Um, I So I ordered the October box. The October one that was supposed to have Archie Afterlife, and it was supposed to have uh, Man-Thing and some others, and instead they sent me another one, which looks like a bunch of stuff I don't want to read. So... Comic Bento, that's shit. That's pretty shitty, you guys. So, the, what I do have is, it looks like this is like their one that was like Adventure or something. But, um, Smite, uh, Millions Play High Res Studios Smite, a multiplayer online battle arena game where gods from many different pantheons fight it out to determine the fate of both the godly realm and our own world. Revealed here is the never-before-told tale of how the conflict between the gods began, from the assassination of Zeus and Olympus to the goddess Hel uh, tricking Thor into leading an army against her own father, Loki, to the death of Ares and the plunging of the pantheons into all-out war. Also includes the story of how one girl came to choose a side and join the battle between the pantheons. Doesn't sound good. Uh, I played a little bit of Smite, was not a fan of the game, looked kind of dumb. Um... I mean, the artwork looks good, I will say that much. But, once again, I didn't order this. And I wasn't trying to do, you know, mystery style. So, bad on you, Comic Bento. Maybe one of the reasons you're going out of business? I don't know. So, probably won't read that. Um, the Mighty Avengers, I actually might read this. Uh, I see that Bendis is one of the writers on it, so that's good. Um... The Ultron Initiative. The Mighty Avengers Ultron Initiative. That looks good. I see Sentry in there. I do like Sentry. I've read some Marvel comics, and I, I like Sentry. So, what's that? Sentry, Iron Man, Ares, um, Captain Marvel, and who is that? Oh, Daredevil. Must be Daredevil. And it looks like Wasp is down there. And no Ant-Man. I don't see an Ant-Man, though. Oh, and Black Widow. Black Widow. So... Alright, uh, Doom looks like a lady. The superhero Civil War is over, but Iron Man's work is just beginning. As the new head of S.H.I.E.L.D. and creator of the Nationwide Initiative program, 
He's rebuilding the Avengers with a hand-picked roster of Earth's mightiest heroes. Wasp, Black Widow, Wonder Woman. Oh, that's Wonder Woman? Oh, they had to change to Miss Marvel. Got it. Um, Sentry, Ares, and new team leader, Miss Marvel. Wait, what? Then who's Wonder Woman? I guess she's just not on there. So I was right about, you know. A group of this... A group this powerful should be ready for just about anything, except perhaps the return of genocidal killing machine Ultron. The Avengers' insane robotic foe has rebuilt himself yet again, this time in the form of a beautiful woman. New Avengers writer Michael uh, Brian Michael Bendis and Liberty Meadows creator Frank Cho launch an all-new Avengers series, pitting the team against the ultimate femme fatale. So look... Ultron looks like a lady now. It's coming out of the head. I mean, the artwork's really good. It sounds like it could be decent. I mean, I, I guess I am kind of interested in this then. There's Sentry. I like Sentry. Oh no, something blew up. I don't want to show you too much. Because if you want to read it. Then there is Val a Valiant comic, XO Man of War. I've heard this is decent, I guess. I haven't heard a ton about it. I've just heard a, a, a person or two be like, oh, it's pretty decent. Uh, War is Coming, Born into Battle, Eric of Dacia, heir to the Visigoth throne, has never known peace. His entire life has been a never-ending campaign against the oppressive Roman Empire, but now a far more terrible enemy has come to subjugate him. Taken from his home and family, Ark is enslaved aboard a starship belonging to a brutal race of alien colonizers known as the Vine. If he is to have any hope of escaping and returning to Earth, he must steal the Vine's most powerful weapon a sentient suit of uh, indestructible armor and become XO Man of War. The Vine destroyed Eric's world. Now he will give them war. Okay. I'll have to open it up to see. Yeah. Artwork looking pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, extras in the back. Eh, this story doesn't sound that great to me. Okay. This, I, I know... People are kind of divided on it. It ended up getting canceled. It's another Marvel one. Um, but it's a lot of comedy to it, so I'm not sure I'm going to be that big into it. It's uh, The Unbelievable Gwenpool. Uh, I know there are a lot of people who kind of intensely liked this character, but then it got canceled, so sorry. The hero who could have been... Sorry. The hero who could have been you takes center stage in her own series. Gwenpool used to be a comic book reader until she woke up in a world where the characters she read about seemed to be real. But they can't be, right? This must all be a hoax or an imaginary story or something. And that means no consequences. With that philosophy, Gwenpool just may be Marvel's least responsible character to date. And getting into the Merc business is a good way to start. Until it pits her against Thor. Place your bets on the Goddess of Thunder versus the Oddest of Wonders. And if Gwen somehow survives that encounter with no skills or training, she'll face the wrath of Modok. Being in a comic book is not as easy as it looks. I mean, I would never assume that it would be that easy. Yep, so here's Gwenpool. Going to be a lot of comedy to it because it's like Deadpool, you know, type thing. So this was, um, I know there, there was a kind of shift in the Marvel comics where they took a lot of uh, heroes and made them female and then they actually kind of like, it was like a parallel universe type thing where they also, within that, took a lot of characters and made like some good characters bad and some bad characters good. It was real interesting. I remember reading some stories and like um, Daredevil was bad and like the Punisher was bad and um, who was good? Like there, there was someone who was good and I was just like, that person's good. Like real interesting stuff like that. Um, so I know some people really dug this type of thing and I know some people really didn't dig it but um so honestly like for 17 bucks I guess I can't be that mad about this but I'm just mad because I bought something specific that I wanted and I didn't get that specific thing so I mean the value I got way more than what I paid for so and will I read that I mean I'll I'll, I'll give the Gwenpool a shot um, I'll read the Avengers one. That could be quite good. And the Man of War one, I'll give it a shot, but I might end up bailing on it. Doesn't sound that interesting to me. The Smite one just does not sound good. Usually uh, comics based off of video games, pff, no, absolutely not. So, um, I don't know. 
not that happy about it because I was looking for my man thing. I was looking for my uh, Archie Afterlife. The other two that were supposed to be in there sounded interesting to me. It was Scourge, which I had heard some decent things about, and Dr. Mirage, I think is what it was called. I want to say Dr. Mirage. Um, reminds you like a Doctor Strange type thing. But anyway, um, thanks for checking this out. Sorry it's a one-time thing, but if you guys want to give it a shot... I would say there's no problem if you want to do the whole mystery thing, so just go ahead and order. But the value's there. Like, it's more than there. So, the check out Comic Bento, get in on a closeout box. And thank you so much for checking this out. Become a subscriber, please. I can do more, like, kind of one-off things like this if we grow the channel enough. Um, hit the little bell f when you subscribe as well. Give me some likes. Let's talk in the comments. All that kind of stuff. And uh, spread the word. And until next time, keep it brutal.